Pop-ups can be a great tool for your website if they're done tastefully. You can use them to do things like grow your newsletter or let folks know about different discounts you're offering in different seasons. But the key is you don't want to be annoying and cause folks to leave your website never to return again. Thankfully, Show It makes it really easy for you to add some really stylish, really non-evasive pop-ups that will help you and your business grow. Let me show you how to do it without any code. So here I am on the free signal template that every Show It subscriber has access to. And if you notice that when I scroll down and hit this section, this little newsletter pop-up is going to just slide right in. Notice how it doesn't take up the whole screen. It's not super distracting. And if I want it to go away, there's a big X button right there. I can just click it and it won't pop up again. So let me show you how to accomplish this on your Show It website. So here I am on my homepage, and the first thing that I'm gonna do is add a blank canvas, and then you'll notice it pops up all the way down at the very bottom. We're just gonna select that, and it's going to slide us down fairly close to where we wanna be. First thing, let's change this canvas name to pop up, and then I'm gonna make this a tad bit bigger so I've got a little bit more space to work with, both on the desktop and the mobile side of things. So. First things first, you wanna go over here to the properties panel and click on canvas. We want this canvas type to be window height. So what does that mean? That means that no matter how big or small the user's browser gets, this canvas will stretch or shrink according to that size. So that allows us to always make sure that that little pop-up that we've got going is always down at the bottom Right, so let me do that on both the desktop and mobile. Set them to window height. And then the other thing that we wanna do is make this sticky to the top. That causes this specific canvas to always be at the top of the web browser. That way, if the user scrolls and lands right here, it doesn't just pop up down here, right? Where they wouldn't even know that it happened. Like they will notice it because it's just kind of always there with them. The only other thing that we wanna do is make sure that the stacking order is pretty high. And stacking order just determines which page gets put on top of another. So things with a higher stacking order will be stacked on top. Things with a lower stacking order will be stacked on bottom. So if I hit preview, then let's just click this link and go to a separate tab. You'll see that here's that canvas and you can see I'm scrolling and this canvas is just kind of sticking with us <laughs> the whole way. So we gotta do a few things to make this work the way that we would want it to work. The first thing that we need to do is make sure that our canvas background is fully opaque, right? So it is completely transparent and you do that just by selecting color and then you'll see that there's the transparent option here on the very far right. Or you could just take whatever color and make the opacity 0%. It all kind of does the same thing, but for simplicity's sake, I'll just select the transparent option. So that's done. Now let's start adding elements to our section. So I'll red add the rectangle as our background. Let's make that a little bit smaller. And then I'm gonna change this color to be black because we don't want it to stick out too much. We just want it to be a subtle little, hey, do you wanna sign up for newsletter stuff? All right, let's make that this a little bit bigger on the mobile side. So a couple things I want to do. First, I'm gonna add some roundness to our edges. So you'll see that right now, without that, they're just kind of sharp. But you'll also notice that when I select that roundness in the effects property, it makes every angle or every corner round. Now we don't necessarily want that. We just want the top corners to be rounded. So in order to specifically select what corners you want to be rounded, you click this icon and then we can tell it, hey, we want the corners on the top left and top right to be a little bit angled, but the ones on the bottom left and the bottom right, we, we don't want to happen. So. You would think that we might be done, but there's one other thing that we want to do, and let me show you why. So if I click preview, you'll see that this is just kind of floating off the bottom here. And why is that? Well, we haven't told this element to stay down and to the right, no matter how big the browser 
is. So in order to do that, we're gonna select the element, click size and position, horizontally lock it to the right, and then vertically lock it to the bottom. Then on mobile, we just wanna vertically lock it to the bottom. Now when we select preview, that will always be in the bottom right hand corner, exactly where we want it to be. So now let's add a few more elements. Let's add a subheading. And then let's just say sign up for our news letter. Let's left justify this, turn it white because it's gonna be on a black background. Let's make sure we spell newsletter correctly. Come on, Chris, where are my grade school manners? <laughs> uh, another thing that we want to do is add our email form sign up. Now, you're going to paste whatever embed code you would have for this, depending on what email service provider you're using. That could be Flowdesk, that could be ConvertKit. I've got a ConvertKit form that I'm wanting to use, so that's what I'm going to be pasting in my email embed code. So I'm gonna add that embed code here, double click on it, and then I'm just gonna paste that embed code right there. We'll click save, and I'm okay that it's got the kit branding down there because this is just for tutorial purpose. It's just for education. So let's bring this down a little bit, make sure it's the right size, maybe make it as big as that, and then let's line these up. So I've selected both of these at the same time, and I'm just going to click Align to Selection, and then that Left Aligned option. So let's do this on desktop as well. Make sure that it all looks good. So let me click Preview, and you'll probably notice that I forgot a couple of things. I forgot to horizontally and vertically lock it. So let's go back and do that. Horizontally lock it on the right and vertically lock it on the bottom. And then let's also vertically lock it on mobile and go back and do this for our form as well. So that should be looking pretty good. Okay, so I need to bring that up a little bit. I think I might just wanna make this a little bit smaller because that might bring it up closer to what it actually looks like. And there we have the problem. So let's bring this to where that's aligned there. See how that looks. And this is where the finesse of getting an element to show up correctly from an embed code becomes a little bit more of an art form rather than an exact science. But that's looking pretty good. Now, we wanna give people the option to make this go away. So let's add an icon that causes this canvas to disappear. So I've selected the icon from the icon element down in our little toolbar here. Then I'm gonna select the icon itself and I'll just type in X. It's gonna give me some options for some different X's that we might be able to use. And we don't want it to be small, but we don't want it to be huge. <laughs> we don't want to say like, please, please get us out of here. We actually don't want you to sign up for our newsletter, but we don't want to make it impossible for them to get rid of. And I actually want this to be a tad bit bigger on mobile because sometimes people's thumbs are a little clumsy. And so let's make sure that they have the ability to do that. So let's make sure that we horizontally and vertically lock it on both desktop and mobile, okay? And then now we're gonna add a click action and then we'll select add action and we're gonna hide a canvas as our type of action. And we want the canvas to be hidden to be this canvas. So now if I preview this, it should all show collect correctly, but when I click X, it goes away. That is beautiful. But we don't want it to be showing from the very beginning, right? We don't want this just to always be there. We want it to show up after the user has had a little bit time to get to know us. It's like going out on a first date and then asking the person, do you wanna be in a serious relationship, right? Like we wanna give them a little bit of time to look around and see if this is even something that they want to think about pursuing any further. So let's go back and we'll make this canvas actually hidden to start. So what this does is when you first show up on this screen, it won't be showing. But right now we have no action that's gonna trigger it to actually show up. So how do we make that happen? Well, let's go ahead and go up to our third canvas here, the about canvas, and we're gonna add a scroll action. And if you've watched any of our other videos, you know that I love scroll actions, okay? And the trigger is going to be percent from the top, and we're gonna set that to zero. Then we're gonna change the action to show canvas. 
And then we're gonna tell it which canvas we want it to show. We want it to show the pop-up canvas. So what's happening here? Well, what we're saying is that when a user's browser or the top of their browser gets all the way down to the top of this section, we want the action to be to show a canvas and we want that canvas to be pop-up. So now anytime somebody hits this canvas, this hidden canvas, the pop-up canvas that's hidden that we've done hidden to start is going to show up for them to see. So let's just make sure that it's all working as we would hope. And there it is. And then we click X and it goes away. But you'll notice something when I scroll back up, it pops up again. Now that's not a really cool user experience, right? When somebody says no, we want to respect that no. And so we don't want it to keep popping up like, you sure, you sure, you sure? Because that could make some folks angry. So the way that you fix that is back on our scroll action canvas, we're only going to trigger this once. So that means that anytime you have a new user that sees this pop up, once they click X, they won't see it again unless they refresh their browser or come back to this page at a later date. So that keeps it from being annoying. Everything is looking good, but we want the animation to be a little bit smoother than just going from nothing to all of a sudden appearing. So how do we make that happen? Well, we're gonna come back to our pop-up canvas and we're gonna click on animation. And then you've got a couple of things that you can do. There's a canvas in and a canvas out. So when this canvas comes into view where it goes from being hidden to being shown, what do we want it to do? Well, let's let it slide and let it, let it slide from down, right? So it's gonna come from down and then go up. And then on canvas out, we wanna do the opposite. We wanna go slide from down or from up to down. So this should work how we are wanting it to work. So let's just make sure that it actually looks that way. We hit this canvas, slides in, scroll a little bit, we want it to go away and it just kind of popped out. I think that might be because of the browser and this is where testing and just seeing how things work really, really benefits you. So that's sliding in correctly and it popped out. So let's go back and see if we can't troubleshoot this and see what's happening. Let's see what happens if we go to up. See if that does what we're wanting it to do. Slides in and then slides up. We don't want it to do that. So that might just be our best option is it just slides in, but then just kind of pops away. Okay, now it's starting to work. We just we just had to rev the engines a little bit, but hopefully this was helpful for you and you see how the process works for adding your own pop-up that isn't invasive, but hopefully helps you to grow your business, grow your newsletter, and have a website that is working for you. Hey, I hope you like this. Make sure that you like and subscribe so you don't miss other episodes that are coming out just like it. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you.